What it do, people? It's your boy Dre Day every day. I'm back with another figure for you. And today, I'm excited to show you my favorite character out of the Dark Knight trilogy movie series. And that's Bane. Hey, man, Bane. I can't wait to tell you. Everything is the wild like Bane. But this is a good little look at the box. And another here is just a bunch of bunch of braille because we don't read it. But um, let me crack this joint open for you so I can show you. Now this figure is very bare bones in terms of accessories, but if we talking about detail, character accuracy, man, look. This is perfect. But um, let me tell you a little about why I liked what I liked about Bane. Because I'm not the biggest, I'm not the biggest Batman fan. You know, I'm sure if you're here and you're seeing this and you've seen some of my other, if you've been following me since I've been started, you see that I am a big Spider-Man fan, not the biggest Batman fan. But I like Bane because Bane, Bane was like, Bane is kind of fits the archetype of all the type of characters that I really attach to. He's like a, he's like a, a, a how could I say? He's like a brute, an, in, an intellectual brute. You know, like he can sit up here, he can tell you some, he'll tell you something rooted in philosophy, then he'll put hands on you. And he got charisma. I even have a Bane tattoo on my um, left arm. Myself in a Bane mask, actually. It's rooted in a few different reasons, but... Yeah, I see kind of a lot of myself in this character. And, um... I, as far as the movie... I didn't like the twist they put in the movie, but... Whatever's whatever, and I know that he's not this way in the actual comic books. Let me show you. Um, they have a, this look with his jacket on, which this is completely epic. But they also have them to wear how he looks when he doesn't have his coat on. Give me a second. Let me hook that up for you. Now, here he is with the jacket off. Now, got a good little gap in between his arms, but... I kind of, I noticed that like if you push the shoulders up, you can kind of clean up the look a little bit, but it's also his legs are kind of loose, but, but yeah, man, Bane, just the, the things that he said just, just stood out to me so long. Things like, when it was like, it doesn't matter who we are, what matters is our plan, you know, like that, that ultimately like what? Your name don't even matter. It's like, what What are you here to do? What you do is will be the reason why your name matters. Uh, what else did he say that I liked? Uh, when, he, when he told Batman, uh, you merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light till I was already a man. And by then, it was nothing but blinding. Just kind of basically telling Batman that, you know, you used you used the dark for intimidation, but I'm really from this shit. I really understand this shit. I don't know nothing else. <laughs> yeah, what was that shit? Well, right before that, it was like theatricality and deception. Powerful agents for the uninitiated. But we are initiated, ain't we, Bruce? It's like, you know, you can fool somebody looking from far away. But when we up close and personal, <laughs> that gang, that little... Your little, your little games and your little theatrics and your tricks that don't work. So yeah, it was just little stuff. It was stuff like that that just really made this character stand out to me. Man, it's, dude, this detailed vest. I like the. I got myself in the Bane mask due to. I don't know what Bane's actual story is, as to why he got this mask. But at the same time, you know, he's not accurate to the comic book. So it would have been, it would be cool if I could get a, 
mini series based on the Dark Knight Bane, even though that's just me sitting over here dreaming. But I wish I knew what if the story was as to why why he got this mask. I, I can't remember if they said it in the movie. It's really been some years. I could I should watch this shit again. But growing up, I had asthma, and um, and then you know coming all the way into the pandemic, we were rocking these, <laughs> rocking masks due to coronavirus. So I got I think I got this tattoo, my tattoo in like 2015, 2016, something like that. So it had to initially it had the meaning for asthma. Then you know somebody meet me in the future, be like, hey, you know. I'm like, yeah, you know, coronavirus, we gotta wear the mask. Plus I got asthma and I got allergies. <laughs> so yeah, just little stuff like that. And um yeah, man, I like his plan. Like he, he got out of jail. And he had he had like jail, he was jail principal. Like he got out of jail and he was just like, shoot, who's a big bad? Got Batman beat his ass. Then like, okay, what's next? The police run the city? <clears throat> Let's, let's flip things around. Let's trap the city under, trap police underground and free the, free the jail. I just like everything about Bain and what his principles were rooting on. Like I said, it was at the end, they revealed that it wasn't his plan. And I wasn't a fan of how they did it because they made it seem like it was for, for the majority of the movie. It, it seemed like it was just, um, you know, him running the show, but then they put the twist on it, but whatever. Here's that, uh, the accessories. You got the piece of the mask that Bane breaks. Actually, they give you two pieces. This was when, I guess that's the first break, but this was when he laid him down and then just pounded on his face a couple of times and then he just broke it off completely. And I'm not really going to take all these out. You just got the the two extra set of hands. And it's like, yeah, this figure is bare bones in terms of accessories, but for me, I really, this, just the likeness, I didn't need him to have a bunch of accessories. But yeah, um, what I will say about the figure, he, my fix, I got the least amount of my fix figures. Well, wait a minute. Actually, that Storm Collectibles tech, uh, Jen Kazama. But when I be thinking about my figures, I got majority SH and uh, SH, SH Fig Arts and uh, Figmas. So I'm relatively new to the MyFix line. But yeah, for if these, if this figure is any indication, the legs are pretty loose. That's loose. Um, these arms are pretty good. Another thing is like the arms, they pop off really easy. Let me show you. You know, I always praise those arms that pop on and off easy. Let's give him back to his uh, original look. Man. There we go. And he had that. We walked down the football field. He was like, what a lovely voice. <laughs> also, like, yeah, like that whole accent that he had, man, it just made everything he said sound cooler. I love, man, Bane just completely overshadowed that movie. I liked him better than I liked the Joker in Heath Ledger's Joker. But I'm sure that's debatable with people. But, hey, this is my channel. This is what I like. And... We talking about it. But yeah, man, I think this is a dope figure. Uh, Bane, one of my... Outside of just the Dark Knight, the comic book series is one of my favorite uh, movie antagonists ever. Or depictions of a character. Christopher Nolan, like my favorite director. But yeah, man, I had to get this figure. And everything on here is good, you know. I don't have any qualms about it. I got a Batman that's coming. I got the Joker too. So I got some figures to pair with it. Those, those reviews will be coming. But yeah.
this bang does everything I needed to do and got representation of one of my favorite characters. Um, I just, yeah, I really don't have many gripes about it outside the legs being loose. Like I said, those accessories don't ma matter too much. I know this is like mad late. That's another thing I was excited about because, you know, as a collector, when you get outside of the release window, these figures get kind of hard to find. And I was able to find this pretty easy on Big Bad Toy Store because they did a re-release. But that's all I got for this. Until next figure. Peace out.